I was taking an oral medication for cystic acne and I had a very bad reaction and the skin on my face started to break down across the bridge of my nose, underneath my lower lip, down into my chin. It was pretty dramatic. My first attempt at treatment was a round of antibiotics and that went to another round of antibiotics they didn't work. The wound was increasing in size. I was freaking out. My face was getting worse and worse. I knew I was in trouble. I stopped taking everything and I knew I had to seek other treatment. I was advised to have surgery right away, which I did, to try to close the wound and that ended up being a disaster. When the wound wouldn't close, it changed my life completely. I was always very active. I had lots of friends and belonged to lots of different groups. I had a trainer and I lifted weights three times a week and I did a lot of things with my family and it changed completely. I couldn't do any of those things anymore. I was very worried about infection. And so I was pretty much confined to home. And you would not believe the things that people will say to you on the street. So that was also just a change in who who I was. When I lost my lip, everything changed. You think that drinking a cup of coffee, you just pick up the cup and drink it, not when you don't have a lip. You can either cave or you can be empowered. And for me, it was showing other people, you are much stronger than you think. After years and years of endless surgeries and traveling all over and spending all of my money, I had just given up. This was my life, just live it. And then I got a phone call and she mentioned Dr. Newman. And so amazingly, I got to call him and talk to him for a, probably about 45 minutes. And he said, Beth, come out. I think I can help you. So I came to Beverly Hills for my first treatment and it was, a little bit scary, but amazingly, I walked in the door and I was greeted by a wonderful staff, very warm, generous, kind. And then here came Dr. Newman and he sat right down in the waiting room and visited with me and it was easy. It was nothing like I had imagined. The biggest challenge in a person like Beth is that there is no movement, and there's no room to put anything in that area because Everything is scarred down. They're going to use my fat, and how will that be? And they're gonna inject it, and it's in my jaw and my mouth. How's that gonna be? And it was fine. It was, it was fine. It was so much easier than everything I had been through. And I had real hope. I knew that I'd made the right decision. We're doing the stem cell lift to restore the function and the normal appearance of the lower lip and the chin area. I didn't have to go under with anesthesia, which was a real plus. And they did liposuction and took my fat cells. Goodbye. The stem cell lift is unique in that it does not require any general anesthesia. There's no cutting and there's no risk for rejection because we take the stem cells from your own body's fat. The stem cells sit in between the fat cells and we're going to collect those stem cells and concentrate them so we can inject it into her face. Unlike regular surgery where we have to cut and open up patients, here if we go through a needle mark, the patient is very comfortable. We don't need to go under general anesthesia. There is much less risk for infection, much easier recovery for the patients as well. So we just finished harvesting the fat from the abdomen and um, we're going to now separate the stem cells from the fat that we got. And while that's happening, we get some blood and we get the platelet-rich plasma, which is the platelets within the blood. We concentrate them as well to help support the stem cells as we inject them into the face. What we're going to do is we're going to use the PRP and hopefully with the fluid, we'll be able to spread out some of this tissue. So when I want to go in and inject the cells, it'll be easier to get them in. Also, with the PRP, we may be able to separate out some of the tissue here, so we get more movement. 
one of the things that PRP does is that it helps to stimulate the stem cells. The other thing, it's part of the wound healing process. So when we inject it, we actually start creating new blood vessels and improving the tissue blood flow. We have the fat with the stem cell enriched cells here. We're going to inject the stem cells plus the fat to give her some volume, trying to break up all the scar tissue. The stem cells will bring the blood supply and they'll re-establish a normal structure to the scar so that it's more pliable and it's not so dense. This is much better than the first time we did it. And that's it. I think she's gonna do fantastic. After my procedure, I went to recovery and then went back to our room and slept for a couple hours and then I felt so well that we just decided we would go out to dinner and celebrate. And we did, that same night. Beth is gonna have two parts to the recovery phase. Uh, the first part is the initial swelling and bruising, which takes about two weeks for both where we inject in the lips and chin and also in the abdomen where we took out the fat to get the stem cells. And then after that is the incorporation of the stem cells into the tissues, which takes about three months. When I got home after my stem cell lift, I was ecstatic with how quickly I could see results. I could speak better, the scar tissue was loosening, eating was so much easier. Dr. Newman had explained that this could be a long journey. It could take quite a few treatments, but I was so surprised at the results I saw right away. Beth has done incredibly well with her treatments up to this point, and probably with three more treatments, she'll have tremendous improvement in the lower lip to the point that she can have almost full functionality of that area. I know you probably have doubts the way I had doubts, and it's frightening to take another chance, but call Dr. Newman's office, make an appointment, find out about the stem cell lift, find out what it can do for you because it can change your life the way it changed mine. Take a chance.